Writing new software is exciting, it's creative, challenging and often feels like a fresh start. But I believe that rewriting significant parts of existing systems is a trap. A tempting one, but still a trap. Here are my top 5 reasons why refactoring is almost always the better choice. Reason number 1. Losing bug fixes. Let's face it, most software isn't perfect. It has structural shortcomings and over time the code accumulates hidden bug fixes and workarounds embedded deep in the system. Think of null checks sprinkled throughout the codebase, often without comments explaining why they are necessary. Do you really think these fixes are properly documented and covered by tests? When you rewrite based on just existing documentation and tests, you are likely to lose these hidden fixes. Bugs that were resolved years ago can reappear, frustrating users and developers alike. But with systematic refactoring, you keep those fixes intact while improving the structure of the code. As you refactor, you develop a better understanding of the code, add tests to cover missing scenarios and build the confidence to safely remove unnecessary workarounds. Reason number 2. Losing functionality. Before considering a rewrite, ask yourself, do your requirements truly cover every detail? What about quick improvements made at a user's request or performance tweaks added over time? Did they all make their way into the official specs? If you are not 100% sure, a rewrite puts you at the risk of losing functionality. Small undocumented details can slip through the cracks and suddenly your new system doesn't perform quite like the old one. Refactoring on the other hand improves the system incrementally while preserving its existing behavior. This way you retain the knowledge and value of the system building on what's already there to create something better. Reason number 3. Late return on investment. Rewriting a significant part of a software system can be a massive undertaking. It can take months or even years. I have seen a rewrite of a single subsystem stretched out over three years. Why? Because the team had to maintain the old system while building the new one. That's three years of effort without delivering value to the users. And here's the worst case scenario, a rewrite that is never completed. If a second system doesn't make it into production, all that effort is wasted. Refactoring avoids that trap. It delivers incremental improvements, each of which provides value immediately. You can stop refactoring at any time and the system is still better than it was before. Plus, you get continuous feedback throughout the process so you always know whether you are on the right track. With a rewrite, success is only clear once it's finished. Reason number 4. Hidden additional costs. A rewrite doesn't just cost time. It introduces additional costs that are often overlooked. Once the new system is ready, you will face the challenge of migrating to it. Depending on your architecture, this can be incredibly expensive. In that three-year project I mentioned earlier, the migration was so costly and complex that the old system is still partially in use today. During a rewrite, you will also need to deal with ongoing changes to the old codebase. Bug fixes and minor improvements must be duplicated in the new system, meaning you are effectively doing the same work twice. Refactoring avoids this entirely. With only one code base, all fixes and enhancements are applied directly to the system you are improving. There is no duplication of effort and no surprise costs. Reason number 5. The second system effect. Rewriting often leads to what's known as the second system effect. The focus shifts to fixing all the pain points of the old system, its poor design choices and limitations. This can lead to overconfidence. The team falls into the trap of thinking, now we know how to do it right, and tries to design something future-proof, only to end up with a system that is unnecessarily flexible and over-engineered. The result? A new system that's not better, but more complex. Migration becomes harder and the original goal of simplicity is lost. Refactoring keeps complexity in check. By improving incrementally, you avoid the temptation to over-design and instead focus on practical and sustainable changes. Does this mean you should never rewrite anything? Not even a single class? Not at all. If you are working on a small component that's thoroughly covered by requirements and tests, a rewrite can be safe and efficient. But the bigger the scope, the greater the risk. At its heart, software is a living system. It evolves as we learn, adapt and improve. Refactoring allows you to embrace that evolution, preserving the value of what's already there while making meaningful improvements. What's the most challenging rewrite or refactoring you have faced? Share your story in the comments. I'd love to hear it.